What is up budget builders? My name is Trill and boy, was yesterday a rough day for millions of Americans, the anniversary of 9-11. I saw some people comment down below that they were actually born on that day, which makes every birthday very rough for them. And then others had their children born on that day as well. It's just a rough day in general, guys, for majority of Americans. But today we have some news regarding the new stimulus checks are being announced. This time these are going to be for our seniors in this form of a cash voucher as well as those who live in California may be receiving more stimulus checks sometime this week. Now in addition to those we could have two more $1,400 stimulus checks to be included in the $3.5 trillion budget resolution bill. The pathway has already been paid by Congress. We just need them to do the right thing and to approve of more stimulus aid. And if Joe Manchin decides to get in front of these efforts, then just put him in his corner and press forward with this bill. But first, hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. On this channel, we talk about finance, real estate, credit cards, Bitcoin and crypto, and stimulus update news. So if you're interested in any of those, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. That way you can join our community. Also, if you end up liking the content in this video or even laughing at one of my jokes, then be sure to like this video. Other than that, guys, hey, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, guys, just what we have been waiting to hear, more stimulus checks. This time, there is a mentioning of a $1,000 stimulus checks for our seniors. There was an article or insider that talks about how the Senate Democrats could send seniors $1,000 cash vouchers next year to be used to buy expanded Medicare benefits. Senate Democrats are weighing the option of sending millions of seniors these $1,000 cash vouchers sometime next year. Democrats want to produce tangible benefits in people's lives ahead of the next year's midterm election. Obviously, this will help the Democrats when it comes time to vote in 2022. This suggestion is being referred to the offer that the Bush administration offered in regards to prescription drug cards, which I believe that the Trump administration also offered the same thing back in 2020. But these cash vouchers might be included in the $3.5 trillion social spending plan. So far, they are hoping to be able to offer $1,000, but that amount hasn't been finalized yet. It could be in the range of $600 to $1,000. So far, the idea has the support of Senator Bernie Sanders as well as Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. The Democrats have been hoping to expand the Medicare benefits during the Biden administration by increasing coverage for dental, vision, and hearing benefits. Also, they hope to increase the Social Security benefits by $200 per month before it's all said and done. Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon, who is the chair of the Senate Finance Committee, said that he thinks that the Democrats feel very strongly that it's important to move now on this matter, as they have the power and the results to make this happen prior to the late summer or the early fall of 2022. Now, in addition, California is also planning on sending more stimulus checks later this week. This is part of the Golden State Stimulus Plan 2 approved earlier this year. They have already sent out millions of payments back in August, but now they are planning on sending another 2 million stimulus payments. These will be between the amount of $600 to $1,100 per individual or family. They are saying that sometime this week, 2 million direct deposits will be hitting bank accounts across California. This is from the Golden State Stimulus 2 program. Eligible taxpayers who qualify will receive an additional $600 and qualifying families with children will receive an additional $500. Representative of the state's Franchise Tax Board said payments will continue in batches every two weeks. Those who receive paper checks, those will be mailed to residents beginning in early October. Most of the direct deposits will be issued before October the 15th. So if you haven't already, be sure that you have your direct deposit information on file so that you can receive your stimulus payments as soon as possible by direct deposit. Otherwise, you just have to wait much longer than everyone else. 
Now, in other news, the House Democrats are also proposing to renew the call to extend the $300 child tax credit in the social spending package. Democrats want to renew the tax credit until the year of 2025. They are saying that the vast majority of American families can receive cash from this benefit program. The Senate Democrats are hoping that this program will have a shorter lifespan, but they are weighing the options right now. The Democratic plan from the House Ways and Means Committee released this message on Friday, saying that the plan aligns with the proposal that President Biden unveiled in the spring, saying that it would maintain the bulked up benefit for another four years and lock in the credit's ability to be issued as monthly payments to majority of American families. It would also allow low-income families who don't earn enough money to owe taxes to benefit from this program. The Chair and Ways and Means panel, Richard Neal, said, Taken together, these proposals expand opportunity for the American people and support our efforts to build a healthier, more prosperous future for the country. The child tax credit currently provides up to $300 a month per child age 5 and under, or $3,600 annually. For children between the ages of 6 and 17 years old, families can receive $250 each month, or $3,000 annually. Individuals who make $75,000 or less are eligible for a full payment, and couples making less than $150,000 are also eligible. Now, outside of those, another proposal to offer two more stimulus checks to every American is being suggested in the $3.5 trillion social spending plan. Right now, as the Democrats are still working on the draft of this bill, the current price tag is big enough to allow for at least two $1,400 stimulus checks. This coming week, Nancy Pelosi said that the Democrats should have the draft completed by September the 15th and should be ready to present to the Senate for a review. But there has been a lot of chatter around the idea of including at least two more stimulus checks of $1,400 in this massive stimulus bill. This article right here says that Congress has already paved the way for them, which is actually true because Congress has already laid out this huge price tag of $3.5 trillion. And as lawmakers continue to push for a fourth round of stimulus aid, this could be closer than we think. We recently had the unemployment numbers bring disappointment to everyone. The federal unemployment benefits have already expired. The eviction moratorium has already expired. And uncertainty and hesitancy has led to a very slow recovery. The need for one more stimulus check or even two more continues to increase the odds of that actually happening or the option of having these in the form of an adult tax credit. These could be similar to the child tax credit that provides those monthly stimulus payments. Either way, adults without the requirement of having children need more assistance right now, which would also include our social security recipients, such as our seniors, veterans, and beneficiaries, and SSI, SSDI. We already had 21 senators write and sign a letter to President Biden back in March of this year, calling for the support of reoccurring stimulus payments, pointing out that the third payment of $1,400 won't last that long. Six out of 10 people said that those payments wouldn't last more than 90 days. And then we had 80 senators call on Biden to introduce another round of stimulus checks, saying that the previous payments have been a lifeline for Americans who have had their lives affected by the pandemic. Lawmakers said that Americans deserve to know that they can put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads. It has been previously reported that a fourth stimulus check could keep an extra 12 million Americans out of poverty, and reoccurring payments could reduce those in poverty from 44 million people down to only 16 million people. So, the odds of offering at least one more stimulus payment is highly favored to happen sometime this year. The Democrats just need to get rid of the one bottleneck that they continue to run up against, and that is Senator Joe Manchin. He claims to be one of the Democrats, but every time he opens his mouth, it sounds like he's been hypnotized by Mitch McConnell. Hopefully they can persuade him to get on board in supporting this massive social spending bill. Now, in the meantime, I will keep you guys posted on any updates that we receive. And real quick, if any of you signed up for the Weebull promotion where you can get those two free stocks, please, please make sure that you deposit your $5 into your account. You only have like 30 days in order to do that in order to get those two free stocks. 
Also, if you want to go ahead and try out the Amazon Prime membership, they are offering you to do so for 30 days where you can get that for totally free. Prime membership includes free movies, TV shows, unlimited music streaming, free shipping, and a selection of free books and magazines. Or if you already have the membership and you participate in any government assistance programs, you can get that discounted rate of just $5.99 per month. If you're interested in any of those, hey, the links will be down below in the description. Anyways, guys, hey, this has been another fourth stimulus check update for today. Now, if you enjoy any of this information or found it to be useful, be sure to hit the like button for us. It definitely helps out a lot and it also tells YouTube to share this video with others. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for me so that you can be a part of this community and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Again, as always, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.